Hi, this is Doug Stannard with Fearless Presentations. And on this video, we're gonna show you how you can use modern technology to improve your presentations or training programs if you're, if you're doing that. Um, I'll give you a quick little background. I, over the last six months, we have spent a tremendous amount of time and resources and effort to recreate our online version of the, uh, the Fearless Presentations class. And it's funny because at the beginning of that project, I had a really different perception of how to use technology with, with my classes because I was seeing the technology or the online version of the, of the course as being a, a replacement for the actual course. And coming from, a, from a, a, a training perspective anyway, I've been a trainer most of my life, I always thought that, you know, that, that as a replacement wasn't necessarily the best way. Because if you think about it, even in today's world, even with all the technology that we have, one of the things that we know is that in-person training, in-person presentations tend to go over a whole lot better. When you actually have a person or a, an expert there in front of you and that person can interact with the, with the audience, that, that that's always better. However, one of the things that we kind of realized as we went through this project was that modern technology can enhance the, the, the results that we're getting from our classroom significantly. And these are some of the things that we've kind of figured out. Number one is that if you make your training programs or your presentations or the meetings that you're in, if you make them more interactive, people are going to get more out of them. Like, for instance, in our, in our classes, one of the things that we do is instead of just having somebody get up and lecture for, for hours at a time, we'll give a specific piece of information. Let the people in the in the classroom actually apply it or internalize it. Let them practice it, master that specific component, and then once they get good at doing that thing, then we add something else, and then we add something else, and then we add something else. So it's a, a step by step process. So people learn by doing. They learn. They, they don't learn by hearing or or seeing. And so if you can make your your in-person meetings or your in-person training programs more interactive, it, it makes it a whole lot more interesting for them. And that's where technology can, can kick in. So prior to the last six months, one of the things that we were doing was we would we did just like we've done for the last 10, 15, 20 years. And by the way, just so you know, if you if you are doing your meetings or your training programs the same way you did 20 years ago or 10 years ago or even two years ago, you're probably getting left behind by your by your competitors. But what we started doing, though, was instead of just uh, giving a, a manual out to people when they walked in the room, which we still do, by the way, we now give them access to the online course as they go through our training programs. So not only are they hearing the, the information from the instructor right now, but they're also getting to interact with that, that content. The content doesn't get saved on a piece of paper somewhere that gets stuffed on, onto a, uh, a, a shelf at the end of the program. This is actually, it's stored in their personal account so that they can go back and access that content later. So a week from now, a month from now, two months from now, they can access all of that, that, that great content. Um, the other thing that we kind of figured out was that it, this the 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 technology that you can use in today's world can really help with a lot of logistical challenges that people have. I'll give you an example. Like for instance, we sometimes will get requests from clients that say, "Hey, I've only I'm I'm only going to have a half day with all of my group. My group is going to be coming in for two days. We want them to do training, but we can only spend about a half day on that that training." Well, with technology now, what we can do is two weeks before all those people get together in, in, a, in a set location in, in, in the in-person meeting, we can do a quick one hour webinar to give them an introduction to the content, have them start practicing some of the skills in the real world before they actually even get to the, the in-person meeting. Then the, the instructor or the person, the professional can use that time in the classroom as coaching time, as helping them adapt the, the content to their their day-to-day -day, um, situations. And then we can do follow-up sessions afterwards. So a week after the, the in-person meeting, they can access an, an online course. And a week after that, they can access another online course. And a week after that, they can access another online course so that they can reinforce the content over a period of time. So the neat place about where we're at today in technology is that we're only limited by our creativity. So I would encourage you to leave comments below telling us what you've done in your situation to improve your in-person training programs with technology. Hey, make sure and hit the subscribe button below. When we come up with new technology that will help your presentations, we'll, we'll post a video and you'll get access to it right away.